Let's break down exactly how to use swim lanes in Jira. The first thing we're gonna do is go to our project settings. And then here we're gonna wanna make sure that we're using the correct project type. Now, the reason this matters so much is that if we select the wrong project type, we're actually not gonna have swim lanes available to us at all. So if you've gotten stuck on another tutorial or just could not figure out why this is not working, it is likely due to the project type that you are using. In this case, I have a software project, which is exactly what we need. The other two options that don't work are team managed projects. So you could have a software for a team managed project, which looks a little bit like this. Functions very similarly to a business project, but is very limited in terms of feature set. So there's actually no swim lane options available here in this project type. There's only a grouping option, which allows you to split up by assignee and subtask and nothing else. So keep an eye out for your team managed projects. Make sure you're not using that. The other one is your business projects. And these also look somewhat similar. They are a little bit different uh, in the sense that they don't actually have the development tools that a software project has, but they also don't have the boards and swim lanes. So so make sure that you're using a company managed software project. From there, what we wanna do is go to our board settings. We can go to our board settings by clicking the three dots at the top, clicking board settings, or by hovering over the board on the left sidebar and then clicking the same three dots and going to the board settings there. And from here, we'll go to our layout and here we'll go to swim lanes. And this is where we select swim lane option we want to use. We can click the drop down, and we have a few preset options available. And most of the time, these are gonna fit exactly what you need. So let's go ahead and use assignee in this scenario. Scenario. So I'll set that. Let's hop back over to our board and see what changed. So you can see that it's actually split up by assignee at this point. And one thing I want to mention really quick is that you can actually group by assignee directly from here as well. The problem with grouping rather than setting up an official swim lane is that grouping is typically temporary and it's not shown to your entire team. And then the last kind of big caveat is that you can't use specific queries for your groups. So if you want to just jump in and I kind of think of these as really quick filters or ways to just visualize my data temporarily, I would use a filter or like a little grouping option, which is on the top right. If I wanted something permanent for my whole team to see essentially all the time, I would set it up as a swim lane. So now we have a swim lane that's grouped by assignee and let's jump in and go to the board settings to see what other options we have. So we have queries, which I'll go over in a moment. We have stories. You could break these down by stories, which is also very common. Epics, if you want to see different epics in their own swim lanes, projects, and then none. So by default, this is typically going to be none. If any of these work for you, perfect. Just click it, set it up, and you should be good to go. Now, the other option we have is queries. And queries is essentially our JQL. What this allows us to do is create whatever kind of swim lanes we can imagine. So as long as we have a field for it and we could index that field with JQL, we can use it as a Kanban swim lane. And I'll show you one really practical example of this that I've used quite a bit on the boards that I've worked on. So let's say, for example, that instead of grouping by Signee or Epic, I want to see the highest priority things at the top. So as we just saw, there's no option for that inside of our swim lanes. So the way that we actually do this is by building a query and then applying it to our Kanban board. So I'll start by going to my filters and then search all work items. I like to start here because it's a little bit easier to manage and kind of narrow down exactly what I'm looking for. Once I'm done here, I'll copy the JQL and use it in the swim lane. So I'll go to my basic and I'll remove the created within the last 30 days. And then what I'm gonna do is search for priority inside of the more filters option. So I'll pull up the priority field and then I'm gonna select, maybe I just wanna see all the high options. So I'm going to select critical, highest, and high. And this is going to filter in anything inside of those priorities types. Then I could just go over to the JQL. I'm going to grab this entire line item. I'll copy it over. We'll head it back to our board settings and we'll go to layout, swim lanes. And in this case, I'm going to set it as queries for our swim lanes and we'll click on create. Now we're going to be asked to give this a name. I'm going to call these high priority. And then what we're going to do is add a JQL, which I'll paste in exactly what we just created inside of the filter search. Now we could add a description. I'm going to skip this part because it's not required and we hit create. And as you can see here, once this is created, we could actually add more swim lanes with whatever JQL we'd like. In this case, I'm just going to leave the high priority and then I'll have everything else at the bottom. But you can add things for like high, medium, low, or any other query you could imagine. You could do this by component. You could do this by epic and other uh, JQL information. So you could stack a lot of filters. You can kind of play around and be very creative with this. So let's head back to our board and see what we got. Let's head back to mobile cab boys. There we go. And now if I collapse this high priority, we have our two different swim lanes, everything for high priority and everything for everything else. So I like using this view in particular because when I work with my developers, we just throw things over into the high priority option. And then whatever's at the top, they know needs immediate action. So anything that's here in this high priority board needs action first. Once those are done, you can move on to everything else. And if I'm like a project manager or if I'm a stakeholder or anyone who wants to essentially manage and make sure that the correct items are going to the correct 
places. I could go in here and say, okay, maybe this needs to be something high priority. So I'll jump in here and I'll actually change the priority from medium to critical. And then we see that this read handwritten on signature screen, it goes immediately to the top of our Kanban swim lane. So it's that easy. I typically like to start with anything that I'm pulling in as a query in a filtered search, makes it a lot easier to index and pull things in. Once I have that, I just copy and paste the JQL, give it a quick name and you're good to go. Real quick, if you're having trouble implementing Jira and you want to work with a partner that's done it a hundred times before and you're implementing Jira for the very first time and want to make sure you get it right or migrating from another tool, or if you just want us to jump in and take a look at your current Atlassian environment to help give some suggestions on how you could be using it better, go ahead and book a strategy session with the first link down below. On that call, we'll go over your current Jira environment. And if it makes sense, we'll share exactly how we work with teams just like yours. See you there.